Good evening. My name is Joyce Van Troy, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to help us launch the holiday season 2020. Perhaps you can agree that this has been a challenging year, but this occasion has a heartfelt touch, and we are grateful to Council Member Harris Dawson for not hesitating and safely bringing us together virtually for the fifth annual South LA Hollywood Tree Lighting. Please, let's give him a hand of applause. <laughs> we also like to thank LADWP, Thai commissioners, and a great group of supporters for the commitment to this annual community celebration. We're already blessed, believe it and receive it. But first we want to invoke the presence and peace of God into this space. And I want to therefore introduce um, two men of God and community leaders who labored in the vineyard day in and day out to better the life of children, families, and senior citizens of South Los Angeles with their many acts of kindness, hope, and compassion. First, I would like to bring up um, the assistant pastor from uh, New Prospect Baptist Church, Reverend Jefferson, and after which you would hear from Pastor Rosales from Faithful International Church. And after which you will hear the um, angelic voices of a talented group of young ladies who will stir up the spirit of the holiday season. They are in an all time hit sensation of the council member uh, Winter Wonderland. I invite you to prepare yourself and enjoy the Christmas carols coming from the LA female finest doo-wop group, the Noels. God bless you to all that grace this surrounding area, to the councilman, Mr. Marquise Dawson, and to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I must say that this is an honor for me, realizing that it would not have been possible had it had not been for the collaboration of Pastor E.O. Williams, the surrounding pastors in this community, and the great city council of Los Angeles. I'm going to ask that you would prepare your hearts and your minds now at this time as we invoke the presence of God in this place. For if many of you know that it would not have been for him, we could not have come thus far. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Spirit of the living God, how we do invoke your presence on this evening. We thank you, Master, first of all, for your grace, your love, and your mercy. Thank you, O oh God, for the life, the legacy, the labor, and the love of the gentleman that caused this to come into effect. We ask, O oh God, that you would bless this festivity. We pray, O oh God, that it would be a memorial for them and their labor. We pray that as it blesses this community, Father, that those that are surrounding it would respect it and honor it, that they would see it as the work of a man who cared about their community. We pray, O oh God, right now that you would continue to allow this to be a moving forward project, O oh God. We ask, Father, that you would bless it, that you would suspend your spirit from heaven and allow it to launch down onto the earth ground where it's sitting. We pray and we thank you for the lighting of this tree that we're going to witness. We thank you for all those hands that played a part in it. But most of all, God, we thank you for the real reason for the season. We realize that if it had not been for your son who died on a cross, Lord, that none of this would even be possible. And then we don't want to be so mindless not to remember those who are affected in this season of COVID-19. We pray for those family members. We pray, oh God, that you would bless and comfort their hearts even right now as they must go through this holiday season with the loss of many lives of family members. 
We pray, O oh God, that you would comfort them and keep them in your care as only you can do. In the precious and mighty name of Jesus, we pray and thank you for it. Amen. Dios bendiga a cada uno de ustedes en esta tarde. Mi nombre es José Rosales y me siento complacido de estar con ustedes presentes y virtualmente para darle gracias a Dios porque Él hasta aquí nos ha ayudado, Él hasta aquí nos ha bendecido. Su palabra dice, Dios es nuestro amparo y fortaleza, nuestro pronto auxilio en medio de las tribulaciones. Sabemos que estamos pasando momentos difíciles, pero si nosotros miramos al exterior, estamos bastante bendecidos, ya que la gente de afuera está realmente en aflicción. Así que nosotros podemos decir gracias a Dios por cómo estamos. Voy a pedirles que se pongan de pie, please stand up. Vamos a orar todos juntos en esta hora y vamos a pedirle a Dios que nos siga ayudando por nuestra comunidad, por cada uno de nosotros, en el nombre precioso de Jesucristo. Dios amado, estamos delante de tu presencia para darte gracias por mantenernos, Señor, en pie, por mantenernos con vida, por mantenernos con salud. En esta hora, Señor, yo me dirijo a ti en tu nombre precioso, Jesucristo, para poner a cada miembro de esta comunidad, cada familia en tus manos para que lo sigas cuidando a cada miembro, Señor, del, de este eh, núcleo político, cuida a nuestros líderes, Señor, fortalécelos, a nuestros policías también, Señor, y a cada uno de la comunidad. Aquellos, Señor, que están pasando momentos difíciles, dales consuelo, los ponemos en tus manos en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Gracias, Señor, por este día y por permitirnos un año más reunirnos en este lugar. Amén. the 
I'm Desiree. Hi, I'm Frederica. Hi, I'm Natalie. Hi, I'm Summer. I'm Tawny, and we are The, the Noels. Noels! We are so excited to safely celebrate with you this holiday season here live on Facebook tonight. That's right. We're going to be doing some Christmas songs for you. And even though we can't hear you, we would love for the kiddos to sing along with us. Yes, that's a great idea. And you know what else? Everybody gets to be a kiddo at Christmas. Everybody? Everybody. Huh. Even teenagers. Wow. So grown-ups, teenagers, everyone, please sing this next song with us. You probably have heard of it. It goes, jingle bells, jingle bells. I know, I know. Do you know it? Is it jingle bells? She's right. Tell You're right. <laughs> All right, we want to hear you nice and loud. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go. Bobtail ring, Ooh. making spirits bright. Ooh. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. A day or two ago, Ooh. I thought I'd take a ride. Ooh. And soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank. Ooh. Misfortune was his lot. Ooh. We got into a drifted bank and then we got upside. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open Thank you so much for joining us on that one. You all sounded so good. I think we could hear you all the way from here in the studio. Yep. It must be some of that Christmas time magic. Yeah. yeah, you guys sounded great. You sounded so good. Maybe you would like to join us for this next song too. It's an old Christmas favorite, especially one to sing cuddled up at home, Silent Night. Silent Night. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And thank you to Council Member Marquise Harris Dawson for the beautiful invitation. And thank you all for celebrating safely and at home. We are really going to miss seeing some of you this holiday season in person, 
but we are so happy that we can celebrate this beautiful tree lighting ceremony here with you tonight. Please remember to keep in touch on social media. We love hearing from you. The Noels are wishing you a happy, healthy holiday season full of love, laughter, and of course, harmony. Sleep in a heavenly peace. Sleep in a heavenly peace on earth. Happy holidays, everybody. So now it is my distinct and pleasure to invite Councilman Marquise Harris to the podium, a man who need no introduction because his work speaks for him. But we think that he's doing a great job in South LA in Council District 8. Uh, we must because we re-elected him, right, for a second term. Yay! <laughs> so, without any further ado, Councilman Harris Dawson. Thank you. Happy holidays, everybody. All right, uh, let's give a big round of applause with our host with the most, uh, the community leader extraordinaire, the, only, the one and only Miss Joyce Fantroy. She's killing us with that maroon suit. All ready for the party. That's the color Reverend Williams used to wear when he would come to the event. So I see that she has it on and she's celebrating. Well, we're here today. We're happy to be celebrating our fifth annual tree lighting ceremony here on Broadway, the 35-foot tree, right at Broadway in the century, at, in century, at the heart of, uh, of our community. We do this to celebrate the Christmas spirit. Normally when we do this, uh, last year we had hundreds of people there. We had all the kids from the school and folks from the neighborhood. This year is a little bit different. We got on our mask and we're socially distanced. Uh, we're trying to make it through this very, very tough time. One of the toughest holiday seasons uh, that we've had, certainly in my lifetime and I imagine many of yours, but we're gonna get it done together. Is that right? We're gonna get it done together. Is that right? So we thank you all uh, uh, for being here and joining us in the Christmas celebration. It's the best time of year for me it's the time when we're good to each other we think outside of ourselves we think beyond ourselves we think about how to make lives life better for other people we give gifts to each other uh, and it is a season full of love and our tree helps to celebrate that we've got a few friends with us that we want to acknowledge who help make this happen uh, first I want a big round of applause for uh, the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power let's hear it for them this is the time where we get to celebrate with them and uh, praise their great work for lighting up this corridor. Uh, and we're not complaining to them about our build today, this one day. Uh, we're celebrating them. And so uh, I want to recognize the commissioner, uh, board president, Cynthia McLean uh, Hill, who is here, and the host of DWP workers that are with us today. I want to bring to the stage right now uh, the leader of the neighborhood council for this neighborhood, who helped implement this vision, who helped see it through and helped build it up to this point. Uh, let's welcome Moises Rosales to the stage. How are you guys doing tonight? Good evening. My name is Moises Rosales. I'm the president for the Southeast Neighborhood Council. And I want to virtually welcome you guys to the first, to the fifth annual It's Lit. Yeah, let's hear it. All right. Uh, we're also here to honor the life of Pastor Williams. You know, Pastor Williams it was a dear friend of mine that selflessly gave himself to the community and his family. Um, as we approach the holidays, we are reminded that it's time to celebrate family, friends, and the many wonderful things in our lives. For, uh, for many of us, it's also time to honor our faith, to remember the people that, that are most important to us, both those who are still with us and those who we still wish we're with us today. Um, 
for many of us, it's, it's, a, it's a time to celebrate with our family, our, our cultural heritage, like making tamales, like grandma used to make, you know, some pozole, menudo, or bringing mom's famous uh, cosillitas de chile verde to the family potluck. It's a time uh, of the year means many things for many people, but for a lot of us, it's an opportunity to stop and reflect on the people who give our lives meaning. I want to thank the council member and his team for all the hard work you guys do putting this together. LADWP for your partnership and always keeping the lights on. And most importantly, I want to thank our law enforcement for put their lives on the line every single day here in South LA. Uh, may God bless you and see you guys next year. I'm going to do this real quick in Spanish. I'm going to try my best, okay? I Googled Spanish this, so if it's a little wrong, I apologize. Buenas noches, mi nombre es Moisés Rosales, soy el presidente del Consejo Vecindal del Sur Sureste. Quiero dar la bienvenida virtualmente a la quinta edición de It's Lit. Uh, y para honrar la vida del Pastor Williams, un hombre de Dios que se entregó completamente a su familia y su comunidad. A medida que nos acercamos a las vacaciones, se nos recuerda que es un tiempo para celebrar con la familia, amigos y las cosas maravillosas de nuestras vidas. Para muchos de nosotros también es un momento para honrar nuestra fe, para recordar a las personas más importantes para nosotros, tanto como las que están con nosotros hoy, como las que ya no están. Para muchos de nosotros es un momento para celebrar nuestra herencia familiar y cultural, como hacer tamales, uh, como lo hacía la abuelita, hacer pozole a menudo o traer las famosas costillitas de chile verde de mamá. Esta época del año significa muchas cosas para muchas personas, pero para todos es una oportunidad para detenernos y reflexionar de qué es lo más importante en esta vida. Quiero agradecer al consejo, a, a, al, al concejal y su equipo por su arduo trabajo y dedicación, al Departamento de Agua y Luz por su aso asociación y siempre mantener las luces encendidas. Y lo más importante, nuestras fuerzas del orden público que ponen sus vidas en riesgo todos los días aquí en Sur Centro. Que Dios los bendiga a ustedes y a sus familias. Gracias. Albi Zael Del Valle on wiping duty, everybody. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> We want to thank Moises uh, for giving us those great words on behalf of his neighborhood council. I want to call to the stage now another neighbor, important anchor in this community right across the street uh, from us here on Broadway and Century, the Alliance Burton Tech School. I want to call up their principal, the one and only Mr. Sanchez. Coming up, Principal Sanchez. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you council member for, for hosting us out here. I know Pastor Williams is up there looking down at us, a bright smile. And I, I do wanna say thank you to his family. Um, last year, the year before, we had time to speak with him, gave me some wise words of advice. Um, with that, it's family super important. Being family here, being part of the great district eight right here, Barton Burton Tech, I have the pride to say that I'm here. I'm part of this community. Our kids love it here. We have pride. We show what we do, what we have here. It's something beautiful that doesn't replicate it anywhere else. You have to be here to feel it, that power, that greatness of what it is to be here. The pride that I have to be part of this community. I love what it is and what we stand for. What we have here is something super amazing that I could say you're jealous if you're not here because it's it's terrific. This is a time where we want to make sure that we look after each other. What COVID has taught us is the importance of communication with family members, social mental health, that we go in and check on each other. We do celebrate celebrate responsibly social distance and be out there for one another what i do want to say is thank you for letting me be part of this community i love you guys thank you all right we want to thank principal sanchez that wasn't a bad trip to the principal's office mr 
Sanchez, so we'll take it. Uh, next, I want to recognize Channel 35 in the back there. Everybody turn around and wave it. Our great Channel 35, they're broadcasting us now so they can see us live and in living color. And I want them to see, before our next speaker, I want everybody that's watching out on Facebook, I want them to see the folks who come out for us every day, every night, 24-7, walk into harm's way to make sure that we have a safe community and that we can live home, safely in our homes and we can travel. I want all the LAPD officers, I know some of them are down there watching, Chris, I want all of you all to come up here so people can see you, so we can give you some love. All of you all to come up here. There they are. Show them some love. Come on up. Yeah, all the way up, all the way. It's, it's, yeah, they're going. People are going to love on you. You got to accept it. We're, that's part of the job. Ladies and gentlemen, the win, men and women of Southeast Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. Let's show them some love. We've got our chief here representing the South Bureau, our own uh, Deputy Chief Scott, to represent all the men and women of Los Angeles Police Department. Chief Scott. Councilman, thank you for that recognition. And again, thank you so much for recognizing the officers. Wait, my Spanish speaker, stay here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, so I am Deputy Chief Regina Scott, and I am your chief for South uh, Los Angeles. And so I just want to thank you for this. So when the, the lighting of this Christmas tree really represents a beacon of light and hope, hope for our family, hope for our community, and hope for the future of what it looks like. And from the Los Angeles Police Department, I just wish everyone a Merry Christmas, but mostly I wish that everyone make sure that they are safe. Be safe when they're out shopping, be safe when they're walking home. Um, and if you see something, what's the word? Oh, that's what I'm talking about, absolutely. So again, um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, Happy Kwan Kwan Kwanzaa, or whatever we're supposed to say, Happy Holla, all of it, I just wanna just, Appreciate to let you know that the Los Angeles Police Department, we are in it together. And for Pastor Williams, what I will say about him is he was truly building blue bridges. He truly was about together we are better and we are more alike than we are separated. And that if we're going to uh, build a community, we have to do it together. So I'm going to say this in Spanish. Officer Leia, there you go. Hi, good afternoon. My name is uh, Senior Lead Officer Leva. So uh, I, like uh, Moises, is, uh, my, I speak Spanglish, so I'm going to try to translate uh, as, as best as I can. Las luces de, del árbol uh, son como un uh, faro de luz y un símbolo de esperanza. Uh, de, par de parte de nuestro departamento de policía de Los Ángeles, les deseamos felices fiestas, feliz año nuevo y año prospero. Gracias. Thank you one more time for the South Bureau, our Chief Regina Scott, all of our officers that are with us tonight and all the ones that are working our streets all the nights of this weekend. I, I invite you up here to love, love on them because you know we got the, we got the stay at home order coming up now. So don't act up. When, they, when you're supposed to be in the house, I'm just saying, all right, we're going to move on. This is not my notes. Uh, we also want to recognize someone who's with us every year. They uh, help us have snow. Uh, they help us make sure that this is safe. And they give us important guidance about this season to make sure that we're safe within our homes and we're safe uh, with each other. We usually have two or three big fire trucks right here, but I think there, something might have gone down because they left. Uh, but we're still happy to have our chief being a waiver with us, he's going to come and bring us a few words. The Los Angeles Fire Department, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, all. Uh, just want to say a few words. Uh, my name's Ronnie Villanueva. I'm the deputy chief in uh, charge of uh, the South Bureau, South LA, which is a quarter of the city. A uh, few uh, safety tips this year. Uh, and always, 
when you uh, buy your Christmas tree, make sure you cut off a little piece on the bottom so that's nice and fresh and uh, make sure it's always in, putting water in it so that, so that it's nice and, uh, nice and fresh all the time. The other thing is don't put it near any chimneys, uh, near candles, any open flames, uh, any heaters. And I know these are things that are common sense, but these are, these are also the issues that we have all of the time. Remember that it takes seven years to grow a Christmas tree and only seven seconds for it to become an inferno. So that is super, super quick. So it's very important for you to have a plan, an escape plan, to know where you're gonna meet with your family out in front of your house or in the back, wherever that meeting place is, wherever your, uh, your exits are in your house, know where they are because in a time of emergency, sometimes we panic and we don't remember. So we wanna be calm and we wanna be safe. The other thing is when you leave the house, uh, or if when you go to sleep, make sure that you disconnect the lights from the Christmas tree uh, and, any, and any electronics that you have so that you make sure that you have a, a very nice, peaceful sleep at night. Also, make sure that you know how to dial 911. I know it's very simple, but also show the young ones how to do it so that they know that it's not a toy uh, and that it's very important. So on part of the Los Angeles City Fire Department, men and women, Chief Terrazas, who's our fire chief, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Be safe out there. Thank you very much. Unas palabras en español. Cuando compren su árbol, ten cuidado, el, pues, el pino, que corten un, un cachito como una pulgada abajo para que está fresco. Y cuando lo paras ahí en, tu, en el hogar, que ponen agua. Acuérdate a poner agua para que no se seca. Y también no lo pones cerca de uh, calefacción de chimeneas, velas uh, y también que tengan una, un plan de escape en tu casa. Hay estudios que dicen que una, a, a, tarden como siete años para crecer un árbol, un pino, pero no más siete segundos para que es un infierno. Eso es bien rápido, muy rápido y muy peligroso. Pues cuídense, por favor. Que tengan un plan de evacuación a donde van a juntar, si algo pasa, una emergencia, que saben cómo marcar a 911 y enseñen a los, a los peques, a los, a los chiquillos, uh, cómo hacerlo. Y, y para que sepan también eh, que no es uh, para jugar o hacer bromas. De parte del Departamento de Bomberos y de, del Jefe uh, Terrazas, que, que vemos que ustedes están sanos y salvos durante este estos días y pues que pasen feliz año nuevo y feliz navidad y reyes magos gracias That's it, sir. all right thank you once again to the los angeles fire department we now have a short uh, video that is gonna highlight the star of this event. So the Christmas tree is a big star, you all are big stars, but this event has one big star, and that is the one and only Reverend E.L. Williams. Without him, this event wouldn't be happening, this tree wouldn't be here, we wouldn't have these lights up and down Broadway Boulevard uh, during the holiday season, it's something that he demanded for his community and he worked hard to bring it into an ex his existence. So enjoy with me a short video uh, as we look at some of the work and the gift that he left with us. This is a community-based church, Broadway community-based church. And so because it's a community-based church, we extend our arms out to you. Need a graduation? You got it. Need a fellowship done? You got it. Have a family that needs us? You got it. It's, it's here for you because it's, it's yours. The Broadway Quarter Coalition is a group of people that are on the move in Los Angeles, California. So wherever you view this video, 
know that these people are bidding you a great Merry Christmas. All praises to our Heavenly Father above. Good evening, listening audience. This is Pastor E.L. Williams. Year number three, tree lighting. A great councilman, Marquise Harris Dawson. Great community, great time of celebration. Only one real drawback. It's cold on the corridor tonight. It is cold, but we really miss you. When you see this video next year, let's really line the streets. We want 1,000 folk to come and witness the lighting of the historic Broadway Corridor Christmas tree. God bless you. Have a great Christmas and a very prosperous New Year's. We're looking forward to seeing you next year. We want to take this opportunity to start the love fest. I want to ask Sister Williams to come forward. I know she's trying to videotape. You got to put the video down, Sister Williams, because we want to begin by giving you on behalf of the Los Angeles City Council. Don't worry, I got a test. You could get you could get a little closer. I got a test the other day. Uh, we want to begin be, begin by giving you a tribute on behalf of the Los Angeles City Council in recognition of the work of uh, Pastor Williams. This is a tribute that we want to hang in the church to recognize his work for generations and generations to come. So this is signed by the mayor, myself, and all the members of the Los Angeles City Council and the city clerk, and it recognizes the gift and the contribution of Pastor All right, I uh, thank you, Sister Williams. Don't sit back down. You got to stay up here, Sister Williams. You got to give the video back to somebody else. Um, I also want to recognize um, from the Delancey Project the the men and women that brought us this tree. If you all are here, come on up. <coughs> Excuse me. Come in the light so everybody can see you. We want to give them a big round of applause for building this tree. This is an organization that works with our brothers and sisters coming home from incarceration. They work on this craft, they work on this trade, and they build trees for all over Southern California. And this is one of the finest ones, and we're very, very grateful to you all for helping us build this. Again, one more round of applause for the Delancey Street Project. All right, now I believe we're, we're at the big moment. Is that right, Ms. Fantroy? Oh, we got another song. All right. So we got one more song, and then I want you to get ready to count down, because we're going to count down. And Sister Williams and the LAPD officers and LAFD and the, the charter school and the neighborhood council and me, we're all going to flip the switch and light up the E.L. Williams Christmas tree. So one more song on our video, and then the big moment of the night. Holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder brings a new and glorious morn fall on your knees oh hear the angel voice as oh night divine
when Christ was born. All night divine, all night, all night divine. Truly he taught us to love one another, his law, his love, and his gospel is peace. Chains shall he break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy, in grateful chorus raise we, let all within us praise his holy name, Christ is the Lord, oh praise One more time for the Noels. All right, we're going to ask everybody to gather around the tree. We want to get you right there. Sister Williams, get your hand on that lever, but don't move it yet. Ms. Fantroy, come on up. Chief Scott, Chief Fianueva, come on up. Our, our clergy, come on up. We want to welcome David Rahimian from Department of Water and Power. Let's give him a round of applause. He's the reason, along with the team at DWP, that this lighting can happen. And so the way this works, Sister Williams, you gotta get this right, because I don't want, I don't want uh, Reverend Williams, you know, stirring up. So we gotta get this right, all right? We don't want him to, you know, get to moving. So we count down from eight, and then we we get to one, you flip the switch. All right, you got it. All right, everybody ready? Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. There it is. It's gorgeous.
right, thank you so much for participating in this celebration with us. We're trying to get some snow here, but it's just too warm in Southern California. It's, it's struggling to come out, but it'll come out after a while. But we want to thank everybody for being here and ask everybody to have a safe, happy, and prosperous holiday season here in the 8th Council District. Thank you all so much.